Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to quickly format your pivot charts with chart templates. So here I have two pivot charts that are both based on the same pivot table over here. This chart on the left just contains the default pivot chart formatting that we get when we create the chart. And this chart over here on the right is after I've cleaned up the chart and modified some of its properties to give it a nicer look and a little bit cleaner look. Now that cleanup work usually requires me to take seven different steps or actions to modify the properties here, but we can actually create a chart template that will do all that work for us. And I'll quickly show how to apply a chart template and then I'll show how to create one. So if I just right click this chart here that contains the default formatting, I'm going to go to change chart type. Uh, right up here in this window, I have these templates, and these are my saved chart templates, and we can just apply one here. I already have one for the bar chart, pivot bar chart, and hit OK, and that will apply all of my changes right here to the chart with just a single click. So this will obviously save a lot of time and also give our charts some consistency. So let's take a look at how to create these chart templates. So I'm gonna go over to this tab here where I have my pivot table. I'm first going to just insert the chart and show the changes that I make to it. So we'll go here on the insert tab, choose pivot chart. Then we're gonna choose the regular bar chart and click okay. And I'll go through those seven changes and just quickly explain those. So the first thing I do is remove these buttons, just right click the buttons, hide all field buttons on chart. I then remove the legend, so left click the legend, hit the delete key there. Also going to remove the axis labels because we're gonna use data labels instead, so left click, delete. And same with the grid lines, left click, delete those. We're then going to add the data labels. So just go here, uh, check the data labels checkbox, that'll add the data labels to the outside of our bars here. We're then also going to reduce the gap width or make our bars wider. So right click the bars, choose format data series here. And with our gap width, we'll change that to about uh, 30%. That'll make the bars wider. And then we're also going to reverse the category order because you can see the pivot table order over here is in the opposite order of our chart. So on our chart here, we're just gonna right click the axis here, go to format axis, and then this checkbox, categories in reverse order, we'll just check that and that will change the order so it matches our pivot table. So those are the seven basic steps I typically go through to format a bar chart here for a pivot table. We'll just add one extra, which is to change the bars here, the color of the bar. So we'll just right click format data series here, go over to the fill color, we'll do a solid fill and then just we'll keep that as that green color there. So now that we have our chart the way we like it, we're gonna go ahead and create the template. So to create a chart template, you just right click anywhere on the chart and choose save as template right here. And that'll bring up the save chart template window. And this is actually a chart template file. It's an actual file type here, a CRTX file. And we will just save our chart template. So we just need to give it a name. We'll just call this one pivot chart uh, bar green, since we had green bars there. And then we'll uh, click the save button there. That will save the chart template to our computer and it will now appear in that chart templates folder and we can apply it to other charts. So I'll show how first how to apply it to an existing chart. So if we go to this sheet here, we have an existing pivot chart that just has the default uh, formatting. And to apply it to this chart, again, we can just right click the chart, choose change chart type. Then we'll go here to our templates folder within the change chart type window, and we'll see all of our templates here. Here's our green one, we can just click on that, and then we'll press okay, and that will make all the changes here to our bar chart. We might need to make this plot area a little smaller, and that, that does not necessarily need to be the same data that's uh, from the other chart or the chart template. It can be different data, a different source like we have here, and all of that formatting will still be applied to the chart. And then we can also create new charts based on those templates as well. So if we go to this next tab here, we're just going to create a new chart. So again, select any cell inside the pivot table, go to the insert tab, and then we'll click pivot chart here. And of course we can still choose from our templates. So we'll go to the templates folder and we'll choose our pivot bar green, click okay. And that will insert a new pivot chart and also apply all of those formatting changes all at the same time. 
And so there are a few important things to note about chart templates. First of all, we do not have to use a pivot chart. We can also use chart templates on a regular chart. Uh, any chart type will work. And then to manage our templates, we can again right click any existing chart and go to change chart type here, open the change chart type window. You can also do this from the insert chart window and just click the uh, templates folder over here. And then down here at the bottom, there's a manage templates button. And that's actually just going to open up the folder in Windows Explorer here that contains our chart template files. And this is the path here where you can find the chart templates. It'll be something similar to this on your computer. And really the management portion of this is just deleting charts, uh, chart templates or importing chart templates. So if you wanted to delete a chart template, you can simply just uh, click one of these files and delete it, hit the delete key, that'll delete your chart template. And then when you uh, close, if you go back to Excel, you just close this window and open it again, uh, the chart template that you deleted will be gone. Now you can also add chart templates or import chart templates there as well. So again, if you go manage chart templates, that's going to open this folder. And then I'll make the chart template that I just created available for you to download. So you can download that at excelcampus.com and you'll be able to then import that or copy and paste it into this folder here and then use that chart template as well. And this also works well if you wanna create a template, a chart template with some formatting for your team or your organization, you can create that template and then send it to everyone and give them instructions on how to import the chart template and then they can use that every time they create a new chart. And that of course will just make sure you have consistency with all the charts you create within your department. And so a few important other things to note here is that the chart templates themselves just modify the chart within the workbook. And if you send these uh, workbooks to your coworkers or other people on your team, they will still see the uh, modifications here. They will see this chart just like it is, even if they don't have that chart template installed. The chart template does not travel with the workbook. So if I was to just send you this workbook here and you didn't have the chart template, you would not be able to apply the chart template. That's that separate chart template file that you would need to import. However, you will still be able to see this chart just as it is. And any chart that's created with a chart template can still be modified just like a regular chart. So we can still go modify the properties here of this chart and make changes to it. The chart template is really just a quick way to apply some of those formatting and uh, properties that you typically take extra steps to do. And the one thing we can't really do with chart templates is edit or modify the chart template itself. So the best way to handle changes to your chart template is to just create a new one. So you can insert a chart, apply the chart template, then go make changes. Maybe instead of green bars, we want uh, orange bars here. So we'll change those to orange, something like that. And then we can just right click, save as template, and then we'll just create a new template. Instead of green here, we'll just change this one to orange. And now we have an orange template. And again, we can go uh, delete that green template if we don't want it anymore. So change chart type, go to templates, manage templates, and then we could go delete this green one, just left click and delete it. And then uh, once we go back to Excel and reopen that uh, change chart type window, go to our templates here, we won't see the green template anymore. And then one final important thing to note about the chart templates is that this does include the chart type as well. So we are currently creating a template for a bar chart. If you did want to change or create a template for a different type of chart, like maybe a column chart or line chart or pie chart or something like that, a lot of times you can just start with some of the uh, formatting settings from the chart template. So I'll just cancel out of this. So we might want to go change this chart type, just right click change chart type. We might want to change this to a column chart instead. So we'll just click column, hit okay. We can see a lot of our settings there have already been applied to this chart. We might want to change some of those formatting options or settings for this particular chart type as well. And then we can just again, right click save as template, and then we'll create a new chart template for the column. So this one we might want to call uh, pivot chart column instead of bar, something like that. Uh, just give it a descriptive name 
and then hit save. And so now we'll have that chart template for a column chart as well. So we can go create a new column chart based on uh, this data here. Just insert, uh, we'll choose a pivot chart, go to our templates. We can see we have a column chart here now that we can insert with all of those settings as well. So that's chart templates. Hopefully this will save some time out of your day from formatting charts, taking all those extra steps and actions to do so. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.